Hi guys, okay, I look a little crazy, but that is because I was filming my eyes for another video and with you guys, I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test on the Fenty Beauty Long Wear Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade 120. Let's, let's hope it's a match. This foundation is $36. Uh, it is currently on sale for $18 on the website, but it is $36 and there is 50 shades. Oh my goodness, yes please. Open it up, this is what it looks like. I love this packaging. Oh, it's a pump. I thought it was going to be, I didn't think it would be a pump. So it is a pump and it says, let's just see what the back says. Pro filter hydrating long wear foundation, massage well if needed, pump and squeeze tubes simultaneously to release air. Okay, let's see. Does it have any claims? Right here. Hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones, long wear, light as air. Ooh, okay, I love a good light feeling foundation. Maybe this will be my new holy grail because I am looking for one. I'm just going to put, oh, well, my skin is primed and prepped. I have my skincare on, which is my Bolero Coffee Green Tea Eye Cream along with the Bolero Wild Jasmine and Rose Milk Serum. My lips currently have the Super Sativa Wellness Medical Hydrating Balm because they are drier than dry right now. Jeez, oh, Pete. And then for actual primer, I have the Touch and Soul Glossy Skin Balm, or Glassy Skin Balm, excuse me. I love, love, love this stuff. And then I sprayed my face with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist in Cucumber. So that is currently what is on my skin. The eyes are the Profusion Chocolates Palette. Stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for that video. But we are just going to take this. We are going to pump two pumps on the back of my hand. Takes 10 years. Oh, 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 me and I just got it on my husband's sweatpants. Whoops. That's okay. Let's just put that right on my face. So let's pump one. Two. And then I have a damp sponge, which is how I prefer to apply foundation. So we're just going to apply this to half of my face and see. Just one light layer. All right, so that's half of it on my face, half of it not. This is the side without anything on it. This is the side with. I still have a little bit you can see right in here. It's right now currently a light coverage. Let's see if I can apply one more coat on this side to get it to build up. Alrighty, so that's a second coat built up. Definitely a lot more full coverage. So this is nothing. This is with it on. The shade match is actually really good. I was worried about that. We're gonna real quick apply the second coat to this side of my face and then we will do an up close shot of what it looks like. All right, so this is what we have going on right now. I have a good medium coverage going on. I don't want a super full coverage. I don't need a super full coverage. So I just, I have, it built up to a nice medium coverage. I like the way it's sitting on my skin right now. I like the way it looks. And my skin looks very dewy, very hydrated, and I love that. I'm going to real quick finish up the rest of my base off camera. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like. And we will do our check-ins throughout Okey the day. Okie dokie. The rest of my face is done. Like I said, eyes are the Pro Fusion Chocolates Palette. Whole separate review on that. Uh, mascara is the Maybelline Lash Sensational mixed with my uh, Doucet Punk Volumizer. And then eyebrows is my Urban Decay Brow Blade with my ABH Brow Gel. Concealer is the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer and my number seven Lift and Luminate uh, Translucent Pressed Powder. Blush, bronzer, and highlight are all from the same palette. It is the Ofra Good To Go palette. It is this bronzer, this blush, and then the highlight up here. And then lips. Lips is my Ace Beauty Be Peachy Lip Liner. 
with the Bella in Argent 3 Plays Lipstick and my Buxom Hot Toddy Lip Gloss. So you guys, that is all. This is what the base is looking like. I'm actually really, really happy with it. Like, look at it. We do have a little bit of dryness just down here on my chin, but that is okay. I'm hoping throughout the day when I wear this, my oils will naturally kind of make this wear better, not worse. Fingers crossed. Let's hope. I have really dry skin, so most of the time when I go for a full coverage foundation, I really can't because it's so dry in my skin and my skin looks dry and crepey and crusty. So hopefully this will work because if I can have a full coverage foundation that my skin doesn't look dry and crusty with, then that'll be a win in my book. But we started this at like 9.15, so we'll go from there with our check-in and wear this throughout the day and see how it looks, but so far. Oh, right guys, don't mind the mess above my fridge. Ah, don't mind the mess of my kitchen either. Jeez, oh, pizza, I'm in the process of cleaning. I've had this foundation on for about three hours now. Let's do a check-in. So far, it's wearing really well. I'm actually really happy with it three hours in and it's looking very good. It looks like I just put it on and I'm happy. I really like this so far, but let me know what you guys think and we will do a check-in a okay, little guys, bit later. It is currently 10.27, so I've had this foundation on for 13 hours. Oh my goodness. I don't think it was intended to wear this long, but this is what we have going on. Honestly, besides right around my mouth because I ate dinner and I've been lounging on the couch, it has worn really well. I actually really like the way like my face looks still for 13 hours of wear. I think this did a really good job. But you guys, that is all. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions are down below. I love to hear them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you the next one. Bye.